Hello and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. As you can see, we're going to have a go at Israeli Air Force Leader from DVG Games. So, what campaign? I've decided to have a go at 1956, the Suez Crisis. So what's this all about? Overview, it's a standard difficulty. And it says the tripartite aggression and Kadesh operation was a joint attack between Israel, Britain and France on the Egyptian military to regain control of the Suez Canal. I sorted out all the sort of mission cards here. We're going to do the short campaign, which is five days. So we get 23 special option points. Here are the standard weapons we can use, the Mark 81, 82 and 83 iron bomb. They won't cost us anything, along with fuel tanks and rockets. And our special weapons, the blue one and the Mark 84 iron bomb. Right, let's get it set up. So I've set up the tactical display. I've put this card in the middle on the um, campaign sheet. It does say... Start with target 48 in play. If you destroy the target, gain plus three victory points and draw an escalation card. Right. So what we'll do is we'll give the event cards a shuffle. And there you go there. The target cards with all the targets that are on the um, campaign sheet are in here. There you go there. Sorry for the slight glare. And then we've got these escalation cards. So we'll shuffle those. Pop them there. And it says, turn the top one up, so you can see what's coming if you get an escalation card. Losing support. Right, next thing to do is to pick our squadron. Now, if you know me, I like it random. So what I've done is I've taken out all the cards that we can use for this campaign that have uh, at least 1956 on their date on the right hand side and I've put all those in a little cup and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw them randomly and save you watching I shall do it off camera and come back in a moment. So here's the randomly picked squadron I hope you can see it a bit glary as well we've got goat, uh, cat, hungry, rock, horror, truck, painter, and giant. And I've used those numbers from this little handy dandy player aid here, which tells you we're doing the short mission. So that's how many you start with. As you can see, I've given them skills and these cost one each in a short mission. Lucky, and lucky you expend that, you use it once per campaign. Uh, when this pilot gets a destroyed result, you treat it as too stressed. Gunfighter, plus one to cannon, attack rolls, because in this campaign there are no air-to-air -air missiles, so all dogfighting will be done with cannons. Another lucky for Hungary. Quick hands here, that's to add plus one to air-to-ground rolls against the target. And we've got a couple of goodies, not too bad here. They're quite high, not so good on the air to ground. Here's minus two, his truck, but plus three for air to air and plus three here and a plus one air to ground. So I've given them both Overwatch and Agile. And Agile is once per mission, you may go evasive without suffering stress, which means if uh, they're attacked by a site or a bandit, they can roll two dice. And normally, when you evade, you have to take two stress. But um, the Agile, you don't. So that's good. But once per mission only. And Overwatch, once per mission again. 
when the bandits move, if they move into your range, you may perform an attack against the bandit. So you see him approaching and fire. So that's the squadron. Let's get going. Here we go then, everything is recorded on our um, player log. The tactical display is ready. We've got our first target placed here as per the campaign instructions. Start with target 48 in play. And the first thing we do is draw target cards. So let's draw our three target cards. City. It's uh, secondary, which means we can do that as well. That's, oops, sorry, that's a city. That's another secondary, it's tanks. So that gives us options. The problem is we're only doing five days, we've only got eight planes. So we might not be able to do as much as we want. Third. Oh, another secondary. Forward base. Now up here is how many planes we can take. Here's what's in the target and the surrounding areas. Rewards. Right. Do we need to do a secondary mission? We need three for this one, three planes. This is just going to use air to air, no air to ground. We're just shooting down those planes. Whereas these will need some bombs. Let's take a chance. Let's do this one as well. Let's go bonkers and do two missions. So I've put that there for a sec. These are discarded. And if we run out of target cards, we shuffle them back, all the discards get shuffled back again. Okay, select target, we've done that. This is going to be a secondary mission, so when we place assign the pilots, we'll have to assign pilots at the same time for both of these. But for now, this target, it says select or determine and place sites. So we just pop this out of the way for a minute. So on the campaign card, it will tell you what to use for sites and bandits, and I've put all mine in here, and it does say angle of attack counters are used, so they're in here. And what's quite cool is that, I didn't know this until I found out elsewhere, that each, there's just enough counters for each campaign card. So what you do, or what I've done, is stick them in their individual, so there's all the sites and bandits for 2022 Armageddon, Desert Storm, and so on. So you don't have to hunt through great big bags or loads of counters. You sort them out into the campaigns and you've just got enough. So we determine and place sites. Now it says here, no sites, assign pilots. So we've got to assign pilots for both of these missions. So this one is just shoot them down. There may be up to four bandits in the center. So let's use Painter. He's got a plus one, but he's got the gunfighter. These are green. Now there's not going to be much chance, Cat's green, there's not going to be much chance because it's a very short uh, campaign to promote a lot of these. But we'll see how we go. And let's take one of Let's take our skilled guy, just cause. Right, that's for that mission. Now, we have to sort out the pilots for this mission. And here are the three pilots I've chosen for the secondary mission. The keyword fixed here doesn't apply to us, so we don't have to worry about that. So that's for the secondary mission. Right, let's get back to the first one. The next thing is arm aircraft. Now we don't need any bombs because we're just going to shoot down these two planes. 
Problem is, we have no air-to-air -air missiles in this campaign. The only thing we have is rockets, and they're just air to ground, so they're no good. So we're just going in au naturel with our cannons. So that's the arm aircraft done. Draw target bound event card. Now these are in threes and depending which phase of the turn you're in, this is uh, target bound. And this one you draw at the end of the target bound bit and this is the flight home. So we're here. This is target of opportunity. You may discard three weight points of air to ground counters to gain one victory point. Well, we haven't any. So that's, uh, that doesn't apply. Place aircraft and choose altitude. So we'll just move these out of the way. And it doesn't matter where we're coming in. So we'll come in here so we can see what we're doing. We could even come in low. There are no sights. So there we are. We're ready. Determine and place bandits. Right. Four of them, possibly. So they're in the center. I've got my cup. You're going to have to trust me. I keep knocking the camera otherwise. First one. No. Oh. No bandit. Second one. No bandit. Oh, better do it. You're not going to believe me otherwise, are you? No bandit. Oh, we got one. So, that was a bit jammy. That says no sight, but on the other side it says no bandit. So they go back in the pot. And what do we got? We've got a MiG-15. Now, as you can see, hopefully there, it's got three numbers, seven stroke, nine stroke, 10. Seven is what it needs to throw. Seven or an eight to do a stress. Nine, that will do a damage and you lose all your ordnance. And 10 is destroyed. It has a plus three attack modifier, which means our boys get a plus three, or and girls get a plus three to the attack. And H and L means it can come in at any height, so he's there. But we do have a guy with Overwatch. So we might better get him as he moves into our space. Intel air defense adjustment. Let me show you that. Here's the Intel adjustment track and as you can see there's no change as it creeps up we can get rid of things sights and bandits the intra we have to keep an eye on it doesn't matter so much for this uh, campaign at the moment that will add or take away the amount of hits you have to do on the target at the moment it's zero so it's as is and up here that's where the target is and as you can see it's in this stress two area so all the, all the pilots are going to get a plus two stress at the end of the mission. Right. Back to the action. Next, it's draw over target event card. This is the card I was talking about. We now use the middle section of the card. And it is saboteurs. You may pay three SO points to remove up to five sites of your choice. Well, that... Should have had done with that a bit later on, but now it's uh, of no use. Place turn counter in the one box. Well, it is. We're ready. Fast pilots attack. Well, all our pilots are slow in the uh, the whole squadron, so that doesn't apply. Sights and bandits attack. No, he has to be. There is no uh, range on this uh, MiG-15. He has to be in the same area as us. No, no, slow pilots attack. Well, no, we haven't any sort of air-to-air -air rockets or anything. So we move. And adjust height if we wish, but we don't wish. Bandits move. Now then. 
Overwatch on Giant. That means he can have a go at that bandit. He's in range. That does mean that is gone for this mission. So I tend to sort of put it over there, out the way. So what has he got? He's got a plus three. I don't know if you can see that. A plus three air to air. This has got a plus three combat adjustment. So straight away, Giant gets a plus six. Now his guns, we can see that, that's better. There we are, plus three air to air. To air. His guns need to get 10 at range zero, which he is, to destroy that bandit. Bandits only need one hit on them to, de to be destroyed. So, plus six though. Let's see what we get. Oh, six plus six is 12. Goodbye you. And you're thinking, oh, this is easy. Yeah, this, this is too bad. This is the first mission just to set the scene. You wait. Okay. Bandits have moved. Advanced turn counter. Here we go again. All we can do and then we go through this five times. If you've played these games, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're new to them, you want to check these out. These are great. Fast pilots attack, no. Sights and bandits attack, no. Slow pilots attack, no. We just move. We're moving in. They can't attack because there's nothing there. They're just uh, aircraft with peeps on board. Advanced turn counter. Here we go. Fast pilots attack, no. Sights and bandits attack, no. Slow pilots attack. Painter has got gunfighter, which is plus one to his cannons. He's already got a plus one as well. And these things have a plus four combat modifier. So that's four, five, six. So we need to get 10 or more. Here comes Painter. Two. Oops, I should have moved that round. Two plus six is eight. He's actually missed. Cat has the gunfighter uh, skill. They have a plus one, so it's a plus one. Plus four is five. Let's see if they can get ten or more. Three plus five is eight. No! And now... Giant, who has a plus three air to air, as well as the Agile, but I don't think it'd be new indeed in that. Plus three and plus four for the, uh, the bandits. So that's a plus seven. Come on, Giant, you must do it. Plus seven. Seven and nine, yes, 16. One of them has gone and we now move. The timer, see, we're running out. We've got to make sure we get this one. No, they can't attack, no sights. We're off again. So, Painter has the gunfighter. So he adds plus one to his cannon. He's already got a plus one air to air. So that's two plus four, six. Six plus two. Oh, I moved it, forgot to move it. Six plus two is eight. Dear, oh dear. Cat has a plus one and the gunfighter. So that's a plus two altogether, plus one air to air, plus one for the gunfighter. Plus four, six. Come along. Ah, good. Nine plus six is 15. At last, we have done that and cleared the target. That is that. We now move down to the homebound. Draw homebound event card. So that's the bottom bit. Oh, that's a target card. Silly. Oh, gain four SO points. We're now using the bottom bit. Gain four SO points. What I'll do is I'll shuffle those again because I saw what it was. Sorry about that. There we go. So gain four SO points. One little thing. I shall put four SO points. Plus four. Next. Roll for search and rescue results. There are no, I didn't lose a pilot. 
Adjust evasion counter. No, there wasn't an invasion. Ah, hold on, that was uh, escalation. We've got to draw that, look. Gold. Draw escalation card if needed. Well, we've got to. This one said in the uh, campaign, if you destroy the target, gain plus three VP and draw an escalation card. Ooh. Remaining days two, yes. That does apply. This means if you've got two days left, or more than two days left, this applies. So it says lose four, because we're in this first one. This is short, medium, long missions, uh, campaigns, stop it, four special option points. Or lose one VP. Mm. Well, we gained them, didn't we? So we're going to lose... <sighs> It's awkward, isn't it? Let's lose four SO points because we got four from our uh, event card, didn't we? So that, that sort of doesn't make, doesn't, uh, cancels it out. Okay. Oh, really sorry, something happened and I had to stop recording for the day. So where were we? Apologies for that. I think we got up to here, didn't we? Record mission outcome. Well, it was a success, so we can put that it was a success on the player log. There we go. We're doing the two missions here and here. Also, I forgot that because I picked my squadron randomly, I get six extra SO points, so I've just put those on there. Okay. Victory points, adjust recon, intel and infra counters and special option points. Now there is some people do use a house rule, I understand, that if you're doing one more than one mission, things like victory points and experience points and stress and all that, they do them at the end of the two missions, but I've got a feeling I forget, so I'm going to do it. It doesn't say you, you can't in the rules specifically, so we'll do it like that. Victory points, well... Is it three or six? Because on the campaign sheet, it says, destroy the target, gain plus three VP, and draw an escalation card. Is that to uh, offset the fact you have to draw an escalation card? So you get six VP for this, or just three? What do you reckon? This is the only, as far as I'm aware, this is the only time this card is used in any of the campaigns so I'm going to say six, because you could have a really bad escalation card, and that was sort of offset it. If I'm wrong, um, <laughs> I'm wrong. So I'm going to give myself six there. Otherwise, why put plus three on the campaign card? Anyway, there we are, six points, and I'd always do a little running total. So we're off. Add target stress to pilots. Okay, let's have a look at that. So the target was in a stress two area, so each pilot gets two stress. Next thing it says is pilot stress recovery. Now, if any pilots have got a call, they can take that into account. So here we see that painter, I think he's the only one in our entire squadron, who's got the little C for call, he's got one, so that means he can take one stress off. So there we are. It also says here, victory points are just recon, intel, and if I think I might have said that, there weren't any on that card, as you can see. That is gone. We won't see that again, that's been destroyed. And we'll pop these back on their cards. And what I tend to do as well, once the pilots have flown, like I did in uh, Corsair Leader, I use my little flown resting, which tells me if they have uh, a day off during the campaign, they can remove some of their stress. It's just a little reminder, and that's put uh, in a little out the way place. Right. Second mission, or secondary mission. And if you remember, it's the uh, city 
We can take three planes, that's its target number, that's what's in it. One sight in each approach and one in the uh, center and bandits the same. And there's the rewards, we can move the recon and intel one to the right as well. Now the hits, it says eight hits, but here in little weeny tiny writing, you can see 1940s two hits, 1950s three hits. So we're in the 50s, so we have to do three hits on that target. And just to remind you, the pilots for this mission, here's Rock. He has the, uh, the quick hands for the bombing, plus two air to air, plus one air to ground. We have Horror, who also has the quick hands, plus one air to air, plus two air to ground. And Truck who has the Agile and Overwatch skills. Plus three air to air, but minus two air to ground. So he's gonna be our, um, our fighter to uh, take care of the, the bandits. Right, here we go. Draw target card, we've done that. Select target, determine and place sights. Here we go again. So it's one in each approach. And one in the uh, in the centre. What I tend to do is start from north and go round east, south, and west. So let's see what we get. I'm not looking. No sight. No sight. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, there's one heavy machine gun. Ah. S60 and one in the center. Oh, don't like the look of that. Right, so we can get rid of those. Heavy machine gun is, uh, there's its stats, seven or an eight to cause a stress, nine to damage, 10 to destroy. Only low, can only attack at low. This one is a bit naughtier. There we are. Five, six is um, stress. Seven, eight damage, nine destroyed, but it has a range of one, so it can sort of attack one space away sort of thing, but again, only low. And an S60. Five, seven, nine, one range and low again. So two of those. Now, any that have a range of one or more and are not in the center area has to have one of these drawn for it. Angle of attack counters. So we have to do it for this S60 here. And this is, as I say, to uh, simulate the fact that buildings and hills, mountains, woods and all that are in the way. So what one do we get? We get, oh, and the arrow points outwards. So the red says it can only attack sort of uh, to the left. That goes there. Okay, well that sort of decides what, uh, what sort of area or what sort of approach we're coming in at. Assigned pilots, well we've done that, we had to because it's a secondary mission. Arm aircraft, now we've got to bomb this city and cause three hits. Doesn't have any keywords at the bottom we have to worry about, as I say fixed doesn't apply to us. So let me show you the type of um, ordnance we can take. Here is the Mark 81, these are the free ones, Mark 81. As you can see up here we've got a 0 0.5, that's its weight. That's the number to hit. That's the range, so we have to be over the target. Of course, it's a bomb, and we have to be at low. The other freebie bomb is the Mark 82, and you can see slightly better stats, but it's heavier. Uh, same sort of thing, zero and low. 
And then the 83, which is heavier, but the stats are slightly better because it's more um, powerful. So what we'll be doing for arming our boys and girls, here's Rock. You can see here we have a little W with two. That means that Rock can take two weight points of armaments, ordnance. So I think what we'll do is just give Rock one of these, which has a weight of two, so we'll pop that there. Horror has a weight allowance of three. So we can take one of these for two. We get it focusing, is it focusing? The light's a bit bad here today. And, oh, it was then. And a Mark 82. So that's your three points. Now the problem is, if you're carrying three or more weight points of of uh, ordnance, there is a disadvantage to you firing your cannons because you're heavier, you can't maneuver as quick. So there is a minus one dice modifier to air to air attacks on bandits at zero range. You can't maneuver around so quick. And the same I think is going to apply to truck because he has a weight allowance of three. I could give them less, but um, hmm, hey ho. So we'll do the same to him, Mark 83 and a Mark 82 for him or her truck. Arm pilot's done that. Draw target bound event card. Be lucky. Destroy one random site in the center area. Oh, that's that one gone. Back in the pot for you. Place aircraft and choose altitude. So I think we'll come in this way and we'll come in high. So this can't attack us. So rock. It's horror. And truck. Determine and place bandits. Here we go, one in each approach and one in the center. Okay, let's just move that up a little bit. There we go. Right, north. No bandit. East. Vampire. South. Vampire. West. Oh, another vampire. And in the middle, no bandit. So, let's have a look at these vampires. Here we are. This is, if I can get it focused, 5, 8, 10. Sorry about that. The light's really bad here today. Vampire has a plus two, can attack high and low, but we get a plus two to our air-to-air -air dice rolls. Five, eight, and 10. Right. Let me just move that down a bit. There we are. So, done the bandits. Intel air adjustment. No, that's all at the start, no change. Draw over target event card, middle bit. Add one site to each approach area. Oh dear, oh law. So I assume that's just picked and if we get a, a no site, that um, doesn't count, we draw for each approach, okay. North. No site. All heavy machine gun. No sight. Heavy machine gun. Oh, we've been lucky there, I think. 
because this heavy machine gun won't be able to attack us because we're coming in high and the same with that and this um, is low anyway and is pointing that way right good can we start now place turn counter in turn one here we go again fast pilots attack we don't have any Sights and bandits attack, just to make sure that's low and can't attack, has a range of zero, range of zero, and low, 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 no. But the bandits can't because they're all zero range as well. So we're just moving. Because we can't attack either. And then the bandits move to get in range, they always have to move. If they're in range already, they don't have to move. But these having zero range have to move. And that's it. Here we go again. Fast pilots attack. No, they're all slow pilots. Sights and bandits attack. Well, it's going to be the bandits. So what we'll do is we'll do this one first and it's going to attack one of these randomly. So we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six. Three. Horror is being attacked. Does horror have anything? Oh, I forgot. Before I move the uh, turn counter, I'll do all that again. I'll just move the turn counter back. I'm taking all the breaks I can. Overwatch. So as these moved in, before we move the turn counter, truck could have a go at one of these. They're all the same, so it doesn't matter. He has a plus three air to air but as i said earlier he's carrying his full payload of three so he gets a minus one to that so he gets a plus two air to air but another plus two because of this here so he gets a plus four here we go eight twelve goodbye you so good job i remembered that now we move the turn counter sorry about that now they're attacking because slow pilots, blah, blah, blah. So one of these is attacking one of these. And as before, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Four. Horror's the unlucky one. So five, eight, and ten. Seven. Oh, that's lucky. It's just a stress. One more and he would have lost all these bombs. So, horror gets a stress. This one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, it's horror again. I don't like him. Six, another stress. Oh, so he's over to two. I've just turned that over and put that on. He's got two stress now. But at least the attacks are over. We can have a go now. So Rock has an air-to-air -air of plus two. He's only carrying two weight, so no, no adjustment there. So plus two, plus four. Two to plus, oh, that's only six. No, he misses. Horror has a plus one, but that's negated by the fact he's carrying three weight of bombs, but he does get a plus two because of the combat modifier here, plus two. Seven plus two is nine, no. Truck, same thing, gets a plus three, but minus one because of the weight of the uh, bombs, so it's a plus two, plus two, plus four. Two. Oh my goodness, they, they all miss. Time to move. Let's move around here, that's it. So in they go. And the bandits follow. Now we have to adjust, well, hold on a minute. We have to adjust height first because we can't bomb at high. So we've got to come down. Luckily there's nothing in the way, nothing in the center, no sights. And these can't attack. That one could have, but it can't because of the um, 
angle of attack counter. Now these move in. And we move the turn counter. Fast pilots attack. No, no, no. They're going to attack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. It's horror again. <laughs> Got it in for him. The first one here. Seven. <laughs> oh dear. Gets another. He's up to three. He has uh, a stress value of zero to four to be okay. So he's all right still. If it goes above four, he's into the shaken and his stats drop dramatically. Right, the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. <laughs> Maybe that was his job, to uh, pull all the, uh, the bandits off of the other guys so they can uh, do their bombing. Two, miss. Thank goodness, bit of luck. Oh, no, that's truck. No, agile, it's truck. Okay, we could fight the bandits or we could drop our bombs. I think the sensible thing to do is to drop our bombs and then get the heck out of it. So, Rock is going to drop his uh, Mark 83. So five, seven, oops, five, seven, ten is what we require. We need three hits. Let's be lucky. What has he got? He's got a plus one air to ground and quick hands. So that means a plus two altogether on the die roll. Eight plus two is ten. That's three hits. And is destroyed. Now there's no point in the others dropping their bombs. They lose them, of course, after the mission. But if I, if I read it right, just in case we get a nasty homebound event card, like somebody shot down, I think then if you expend, we've already expended two, if we expend, otherwise just drop them, on the way home, we can uh, modify a dice roll to rescue the pilot, I think. So we'll leave it as is, because what's happening now is the band um, aircraft move and adjust altitude. So we're just going to move off the map. There we are. And that's it. These are gone, we've flown away, we've completed the mission, we've done our three hits. That all goes back away in the pots. And then we'll do the homebound flight. Draw homebound event card. Confidence. If no pilots were shot down during this mission, gain two SO points. Thank you very much. I shall add that now. Plus two. I'd like to keep a, a goodly supply of SO points because um, we can do a priority R&R, &R, which allows us to remove two stress plus the pilot's call, as well as the uh, having a rest removal of call. Right. Roll for search and rescue. No. Adjust invasion counters. No. Draw escalation card. No, thank you. Oh, what I should have done is turn that over. Because you... Again, on Board Game Geek, there's some saying yes, some saying no. I do it, so you can look at it and say, well, if you get an escalation mission come up, you can say, is it worth it? Let's see no effect, that one. And the escalation cards tend to have better rewards on them because you've got this offset by the, usually by the um, negative things on the escalation cards. Anyway, that's done. Just evaded uh, escalation. Right, debriefing, record mission outcome. A success. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, of course, is give the um, experience points to the pilots on the primary mission. We'll do that in a sec. 
Anyway, it's a success. And what do we get? We get one VP. So we are now seven. Not bad for the first day. Adjust recon Intel infra counters and special option points. Right, let's have a look at that. So on the uh, mission card, it says move recon Intel along one. Recon along one. So that means now we only pick two target cards. And this one, oh, look, minus one center sight. So we can get rid of one of them. And there, there's the target. And you can see it's still in the stress two area, which we're going to do, I believe, in a second. Next thing does indeed say, add target stress to pilots. So, poor old horror. He is now shaken. And these pilots join the others that did the primary mission. So if I don't fly these pilots tomorrow, or the next day, they can remove two stress plus their call. There we are. The only other thing to do is give them experience points. And there we are. Two each for the guys that flew on the missions. You get one for flying on the mission and another one for destroying it. And there's, we've got seven. Bit messy because I keep rubbing it out. Seven VPs. We're off. Okay, so all ready to start day two, but I think we'll leave it there. It's gone on long enough. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, share. It all helps the little channel. And as always, thank you to my subscribers. Thank you very much. So this has been. Day one, a playthrough of the 1956 Suez Crisis campaign from Israeli Air Force leader by DVG. I say, if you've enjoyed it, join us for the next one. Until then, you take care and goodbye.